Good morning, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to It's E Lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called It's E Lifestyle. And it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So this is the start of a new vlog. I'm getting ready to head into the office, but I just took about 50 pictures in front of this new mirror. So if you missed the last vlog, go ahead and check it out because I just incorporated a full size mirror um, like in the front entrance of my home. One of the things that made me want to do this is because when it's time like to walk out the door and I just want to do like a, you know, just like a last minute look of myself, you know, see how my outfit look, whatever the case may be. I have to go back upstairs to my bedroom or to my office because I have two full size mirror upstairs, but I wanted one downstairs and I did not think it went with the vibe of my living area. So I made the decision to add one to this is like, like this is my front door. So it's right behind the front door and I wanted to kind of build a slat wall because I seen um, something on Pinterest, wherever, TikTok. I don't know where I seen it at, but I, I like the look, but I needed to incorporate a full-size mirror. I love it here, lifestyle lovers. I love it. I think what I'm going to do, a company reached out to me, but I haven't heard back from them. Um, but I'm going to reach back out to them. They reached out to me for recessed lighting. You know, they're going to provide the recessed lighting. So what I think I'm going to do is add recess lighting in this area and probably one right here <laughs> i'm so extra y'all i'm so extra but that that is like a it's not a real expensive upgrade in my opinion it's a couple of hundred dollars and if the company is going to provide the the recess uh the recess lighting then that cut costs as well and i may change my light fixtures out so this is what's here. I'm going to cut the light out so you guys can see it a little bit better. This is what's here. It's been here. This is the flush mount and that is the semi flush mount. And, I, and I've had this pretty much since I moved here. I did not feel the need to change it because it's just simple and I like it. It still kind of goes with the design of my home. Um, but I may, I may change it out because I'm just like I'm loving it here. I'm loving it here. I'm definitely going to switch this door out um, to the doors that match my bedroom, uh, which is like the circle doors. I'll insert a, a, a I'll insert a side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. And I may change these out, but this won't be this won't be right away. But I I am looking to change this one out very 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 soon. So let me show you guys quickly what I'm wearing in the new mirror. And I purchased this mirror from Overstock, so I'll link it below. But I shared the unboxing on my channel. So um, basically, I'm wearing this dress from Express. If you remember this dress, I wore it in last week's vlog as a day date with my boyfriend. It's very, very, very sexy. However, it's a reversible dress. So I just flipped it around. And so this is how it looks when I flip it around. And then I just added a jacket because it does have like a, a cut out, cut out hole in the back. So I just added my blazer, which I'll keep on all day. I have my braids down today. They're giving very much dusty. So I'm hoping to get these out this week. I have a wig, wig review that's coming up. And um, I really, really, really want some more braids but i'm in a wedding in a few weeks we have to have our hair styled a certain way so there's really no sense in me getting braids again because i'll have to take them back out before the wedding so um i decided to go ahead and do you know do a wig it's a real real simple summertime wig um so hopefully that'll just you know be kind of easy to do and yeah but i'm hoping to take these out sometime this week so my daughter can kind of braid my hair down but I never wear them down to work but since I'm getting ready to take them out I just decided to go ahead and 
let them down. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I'm getting ready to head out the door and head to work. I may check back in with you guys a little later on today. I do have to pick my grandsons up today, so when I pick them up, it's, it's a little crazy up in here. But um, <laughs> we'll just see how that goes. If I don't check back in with you guys this evening, it'll be sometime tomorrow. Bye. Okay. You can okay, lifestyle lovers. So I am on my lunch break and I just decided to come get me some fresh flowers. I left my slides up under my desk, girl. Why did I do that? Um, I didn't I was telling you guys in last week's vlog I wanted to get me some fresh flowers, but I never did. And I need to I said I want to start when I go into the office. I have the habit of, look at him, he got some flowers for his girlfriend. Um, I get into the habit of just sitting at the desk, working, working through lunch, not eating. Um, so I wanna stop doing that. I say when I go into the office, I need to get out, run errands, make sure that I eat a full meal instead of trying to snack on chips and stuff while I'm sitting there working it's not healthy and i just need to stop doing that so i'm right here at coon flowers on beach boulevard i want me some beautiful colors i want to add in my green hydrangeas like i always do but i want like some beautiful color roses i have a new robe and i'm trying to get the i love the colors in the robe so i want some colors to match the robe which is turquoise pink and purple so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get me something to eat. There's a Bono's down the street. So I may just grab a salad. But yeah, let's go get us some fresh flowers for the week. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So we have a change of plans. I went into Kiln Flowers and they had single roses for $5. So baby, as quick as I walked in there, I was walking out because five dollar for one rose no man we're not doing that so i got up out of there with the triple hurry up and i rode down the street to jacksonville flower market this is also off the of beach because a few of you reached out to me and asked me where it was so it's the wawa right next door to the right because i'm coming from from downtown and um it's right where south side meets Atlantic. So if I would have merged that way, I would have got on Southside. Merged that way, I would have got on Atlantic. And keep straight, you go down Beach. So my Jacksonville lovers, you guys um, are familiar with the area. <clears throat> so I just rode down here, rode straight down Beach. And I'm just going to get my flowers from here because I'm not paying $5 for roses. And I've purchased flowers from Coon, Coon Flowers before. Maybe I didn't get roses. Maybe I just got hydrangeas and bells of Ireland, which is kind of like my go-to fresh look, but I want some very colorful, colorful florals. So, and I know their roses are like two to three dollars, no more than three dollars. Um, so I'm gonna head in here and they actually, they have some nice vases as well, but I'm not gonna be doing all of that because I need to get lunch and get back to work. But um, I'm going to grab me some lunch on the way back, so. Let's head, head into Jacksonville Flower Market. Like it? It's good too. Huh? 
good. It's good. Birthday. <laughs> Birthday. Look at y'all. Y'all look so cute. Never get out cause I would love wasting time with you, baby. Cause I know. Happy Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. It's the top of the morning. I'm getting ready to start my work day. 
and I kind of wanted to just come back on camera and recap with you guys because I don't I don't think I came back on camera yesterday so I end up having to pay five dollars for roses yesterday um, and I end up having to go back to Kuhn flowers so last night I kind of um, put my arrangement together and I'm gonna show it to you guys I wanted you to to see it um, I wanted it like to sit overnight that way sometimes once you do that and I wake up the next morning the flowers they look better they're brighter they bloom but this was the new technique that I wanted to kind of share with you guys that I wanted to try so let me let me because I have some left okay so I purchased 10 of these, right? They were like 10 for $5. I cannot pronounce the name, so I'm going to kind of insert it on the screen. But this is like a foliage that you can put into your vase. And of course, it'll be easier if the vase is like kind of like a wide mouth. That's like smaller because I kind of had to push it down in there. And the water is what kind of seals it to the side of the vase. So it just gives like a, a different look that I love. But I was watching some videos. So the technique is to kind of scrape off the back because this is what makes it flexible. Of course, cut the, cut the, the stem and then scrape off the hard part on the back to make it a little bit more flexible. So I like that look. So I may try that again. I think it may look good with maybe some white and green hydrangeas and then some bells of Ireland. So the reason that I had to go back to Kuhn Flowers because Flower Market did not have any green hydrangeas. They just had mini hydrangeas, which was very small. But these end up being $5. Those are, I think those are like colored. They they paint them or something. Um, and then I purchased these from Kuhn for $5. But I don't think I'm gonna be doing that again. I think moving forward, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stick to the florist that I have been going to. It's a smaller florist um, and it's near my home. I'm just gonna stick with him because every time I go most of the time he has everything that I want and I like his, I like the way his flowers look. His roses, they're not $5 though. I wanna say they're like three to four, but I'm just gonna stick to him. I, I don't think I'm gonna go back there because they just didn't have everything that I was looking for. But these I would most definitely try, but I think it'll, it'll be easier. Like if you had a wide mouth face and you just kind of put your water in there, as I stated, kind of get as much of this off of the back of it as you can cut the stem and just kind of press it against the vase press it against the vase where this the brightest color goes outward like this so you can see it so i, I actually need a new vase um but yeah i just wanted to kind of share that with you guys and just recap um so after I left the flower shop, I ended up getting me a turkey salad from Bono. So that's what I had for lunch. So I kind of got lunch, went back into the office and ate lunch. And then when I picked my grandsons up, we went on an ice cream date. So we went and had ice cream um, because most of the time when I pick them up, it's always like storming, raining or whatever. So I just decided it wasn't raining. It looked like it was about to rain, but it didn't. So I just decided let's you know kind of get out and burn off some energy so that's what we did and yeah I'm just having my morning cup of coffee and then I wanted to share my new robe with you guys this is from a brand called Notori and they sell like luxury uh luxury sleepwear robes calf captains kimonos um and I purchased this from Bloomingdale's now I will tell you things from their brand can get pretty expensive so when i see one that i really like i kind of shop around so i end up purchasing purchasing it from bloomingdale's for like 80 dollars. it was on sale so um if you see something from their site i would recommend to kind of shop it down the site has sales too but i did order something from their site and after 10 days they still hadn't shipped it and i just told them to cancel cancel the order 
Like I'm not I'm not waiting forever for y'all to ship anything. But um it's real nice. I love the print. Look at the sleeves on it. So this is how it looks. It is floor length. Very comfortable. You can tell the material is like uh great quality. But yeah. So I just kind of wanted to check back in with you lifestyle lovers. Um, I'll probably go ahead and end the vlog today. I'm going to get my work day started and then I'll check back in with you guys um, a little later on. Hey lifestyle lovers. So it's a little later on in the evening. It's probably about um, 7.15. So um, me and babe are going to do a date night. We kind of struggle with finding time to spend, just depending on our schedules, because we both have busy schedules. So we try to do like one date night during the week. Typically we'll do Taco Tuesdays. But I had the, um, I had my grandbabies yesterday. So today is Wednesday, we're gonna go somewhere, I don't know. Y'all know I love to eat. So I don't know if we're gonna go, maybe grab something to eat. Um, I really wanna sit outside. Um, but it'll probably be dark soon, but seafood is always, 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 always good for me. So we didn't decide, well, he didn't say where we, where, where we were going, um, but we're going somewhere. So I'm going to just show you guys what I'm wearing and I have a mirror to do that in. Real cute, real casual, keeping it simple. Let me turn some light on. Keeping it simple, so I have on like my distress jeans. And this is the tank top that I shared with you guys in the last vlog. It's like the high neck tank top worn backwards. So this is how it looks in the back. And I just turned it backwards. I took, took the tag out and just turned it backwards. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do like a kimono just in case we go somewhere and it's cold and then i just have on like some valentino and some valentino inspired slides so just keeping it cute keeping it simple i did not do any makeup i just put on my fenty beauty i put the name across the screen but it's not makeup it's just something like to highlight and glow your skin um, so I just kind of did my skincare, washed my face and moisturized and then I put that highlighting. I, th I can't think of what it's called. I think it's called Fenty, Fenty Glow, Fenty All Over Glow Enhancer. Because you can put it on your face, you can put it on your body. But I just put it on my face and just kind of laid these little raggedy edges down. So I may put on a kimono. Let me see how that looks. But babe should be here in probably about 20 minutes because I told him I was going to be ready by 7.30. So let me see how the kimono looks. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I think I'm probably just going to go without a jacket um, because with the high neck, none of the jackets or the cover or the kimonos look good. So I think, I really think we're going to go somewhere where we can probably be on the now nah, I ain't gonna stay on the rooftop, but maybe outside, we'll see. But if we do dine, in, dine inside, hopefully it's not anywhere where I'm gonna be cold. But um, I wanted to share some skin products with you guys that came in today. I placed this order from Sephora because I was sharing on the last vlog that I was actually out of the um, Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops, so I went ahead. This is like one of my staples now in my skincare routine and I was out of it. Um, but this is the Glow Re Re can I talk? Glow Recipe Waterman and Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. So I just stocked back up on this and also um, I was almost out of my toner as well. So this is the Glow Recipe Water Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner. So I will link this in the description box, but I like to use these two together. So when I ran out, I just kind of hold off on stop using my toner because in my opinion, they work the best when they're used together. 
So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm not taking my camera because it'll be dark soon. So if I do get any footage, it'll be on my cell phone. But I'll check back in with you guys when we get wherever it is we're going. <laughs> Later. Y'all, me and babe ended up at La Nop. I told them nine times out of ten, wherever we go at, we're going to be sitting outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's still light out. It's real nice, the view. It has like a little river view. We need to play on Connect 4. Got some games in the back. lifestyle lovers happy thursday so today is thursday it's the top of the morning and i'm kind of preparing for my day so i wanted to kind of go ahead and talk to you guys before i close out the vlog i'm having some lemon water um before i have my coffee it's still a little hot but sometimes i'll have lemon water in the morning especially when i've been drinking the night before it has a lot of different benefits but like detoxing is one of them is like a good morning detox so um, i'm gonna start my day with lemon water it's probably about um eight ounces i guess so i'm gonna start with lemon water before i start on my morning coffee it's still a little hot though but date night was a success we had a nice time i don't know if i told you guys but we end up going to la napolera which is like a mexican restaurant they have really good margaritas um so that's what we did um it had a good time but before i close out the vlog i wanted to kind of share something with you guys i know i don't talk a lot of finance on my channel but lately what I've been doing is, so I got up this morning since it's, you know, it's Thursday, so we're getting close to the end of the week. Um, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I like to kind of do an audit of my budget. So what I have been doing lately, a technique, I don't know if it may help one of you lifestyle lovers, but I want to share it with you. So I have a weekly budget. I have a weekly budget of $500. That's my budget. Um, some people may think that's a little bit. Some people may think it's a lot. But I've been going over budget, my weekly budget, a lot lately. And I wanted to kind of do an audit of my finances to kind of see what I've been spending my money on. So that's what I was doing this morning to kind of see, you know, how much money I would have for the weekend, what's left over in my budget. Because last week I went over my budget. So most of you know, if you've seen the last vlog that I did like a DIY project, like a slat wall. Um, so that's kind of why I went over my budget because I spent, I spent quite a bit of money at Home Depot buying materials. I bought a Brad nailer. So I was like $100 over budget for last week. So typically when I, when I go over my weekly budget, I will either, uh, it'll either come whatever I go over. So just say for instance, um, I went over $100. So I will take $100 out of next week's budget and I'll start that budget with $100 less. So since my budget is $500, the next week's budget will be $400 or I will take it out of my savings. So anytime you're taking it out of your savings, it's constantly taken away from your savings when I'm going over budget. So this is kind of what I've been doing. So I make a list of what I'm spending on my money weekly to kind of see 
where I'm spending too much money on. Okay, so uh, just, 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 I'm gonna give you an example of last week. Like I, I have a list. <laughs> so last week, of course, I, you know, you guys know I drink wine. So last week I spent money on wine, on gas. I, I did some shopping at Express. So Express came out of the budget as well. Have some fast food on here for when I take my grandkids to get Happy Meals or whatever. Walmart, um, the hair store. Uh, I bought paint for the DIY wall. I went to Fresh Market. So that's just an example of some of the things that came out of my budget from last week. But I know that the project is what, what took me over. But what I've been noticing about my finances is I am spending a lot of money on seafood. You guys know I love crabs. I love like blue crabs, crab legs, you know, shrimp, oysters, which I'm not, it's not oyster season, but just by me doing this, I see where I'm spending a lot of money on. So I'm more conscious, more aware, you know, to cut back on those things because I noticed I was spending hundreds of dollars on seafood, sometimes weekly, monthly. So that's just one of the things that kind of makes me aware, you know, seafood is expensive and, and I have to tell myself that I don't have to have it three and four and five times a week because it starts to add up. And it's not like I'm going out to the grocery store and spending money on groceries. I am spending money specifically on seafood or, you know, making like a crab pot or crab legs or whatever the case may be. And it's just, I noticed, you know, once I started paying attention, that is excessive. So, um... So that's just one of the things that just kind of makes me more aware of what I'm what I'm spending my money on and it makes me aware that I need to cut back. <laughs> it's time to cut back on certain things. And so um so that is the area of my finances that I'm going to cut back on. I spent a lot of money in Walmart. <laughs> that's another thing that I noticed when I when I was doing this. So that makes me aware of when I go to Walmart I need to make a list. I don't need to go in Walmart trying to grab everything, trying to grab the new stuff and all of that stuff. I need to make a list because a lot of money is being allocated to Walmart. I feel too much. Or I need to do like an audit, make a list, and then once I go to Walmart, do an audit of what I purchased. Do I need this? Was this a just, you know, impulse buy or whatever the case may be? And I noticed that... I'm spending a lot of money when I go into the office. I'm purchasing coffee, I'm purchasing breakfast, I'm purchasing lunch. So that'll make me more aware that I have an expensive Nespresso machine. I need to take my coffee into the office because we have a Starbucks in our building. I need to stop stopping the Starbucks and bring my coffee. I need to fix my lunch the night before and eat my lunch or you know take my my cinnamon raisin uh bagels or english muffins i need to take those to work and have those for breakfast because when i go into the office i'm spending money you know um so this is just a tip i don't know if it'll work um but kind of how i do every week i make a list of everything that i spent Sometimes I keep my receipts and I kind of check it off. Sometimes I go through it and audit it um, just to kind of look and see what I purchased. But it makes me more conscious of um, what I'm spending my money on. And then it makes me want to cut back. Because if you know that you're spending too much money at Walmart, then you're going to be conscious when you go into Walmart or Target or wherever you go. Um, so that's just something I wanted to share with you, lifestyle lovers. I don't know if it will help, but I'm just constantly going over my budget and I just kind of needed to see where I could you know kind of help myself with that um but that's pretty much it for this vlog lifestyle lovers I know I don't do a lot during the week so I try to kind of take the opportunity to share um different things with you guys that may or may not help um comment below tell me if you don't mind, because I know, you know, money can be like a little touchy subject. If you don't mind, if you don't mind and you have a weekly budget, tell me what it is. Because I would love to know, do you think 
my weekly budget of $500 is a lot or too much or do I need the, the up, the, do I need to increase it? I don't know. I think it's a lot and, and keep in mind it's $500 for a seven day week, not a five, not a five day week. So it will run like Monday through Sunday. Um, but like if I make a big purchase that's over $500, of course that will either come out of my savings or I may do it on my credit card. Um, because I did, I did that last week as well. <laughs> I purchased some, some sunglasses. You guys know I love sunglasses. So, um, so, but I don't kind of include that in the budget if it comes directly from savings or I use it on my credit card. So, but, um, comment below and kind of let me know, cause I'm just trying to be more aware and more conscious of my finances and what the hell I'm spending my money on. Um, but that's it for this vlog lifestyle lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this. I love you guys. I'm getting ready to take these twists out. So the next time you see me, I may have like a new do, but um, that's it for this video, Lifestyle Lovers. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.